Hey guys, welcome back to Quilling Chronicles Paying It Forward. We are here with the Anderson twins. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell us about yourselves and what position you guys play. So my name's Sarah. Uh, I skip uh, on Team Anderson. Uh, I'm Taylor. I throw vice and sweep Sarah's rocks. It's a lot of fun. So how did you get into curling and how old were you guys? So I think we were about six years old when we started the junior program in Philadelphia. It was a really big family sport for us. All our older sisters curled and uh, fell in love pretty quickly. So how long have you been together as a team? And uh, tell us about your family. Yeah, this is our second year together as a team uh, for Team Anderson with Leah Yabarro and Lexi Lanigan. Um, it's been a really fun experience. They're from Minnesota and we now live in Minnesota and we're ready to battle out a good week. But of course, Taylor and I have always played together. <laughs> yeah. How did you know that you worked well as a team together? You know, strong team dynamics comes down to friendship and equal values. And I think our team, um, we really respect each other and we have a lot of fun doing it. So no matter, you know, if we're out there getting a W or an L, uh, we're supporting each other and it helps. And what are some good characteristics for a good team member? I think a good characteristic is uh, being open with each other, being able to take feedback and being there, like being the biggest supporter you can and make everyone feel included. And to be able to take responsibility for your own mistakes and making sure that other people are feeling heard. What do you guys think it takes as a team to get where you are today? Practice, practice, practice. I think a lot, as many rocks as you can throw, the better. And um, if you have a coach to help you technically, that's even better. But uh, yeah, lots and lots of practice. Now, uh, how do you balance your full-time job with curl? <laughs> so uh, it's kind of tough. Uh, I'm lucky enough in Minneapolis that we have quite a few clubs to curl from. So Frogtown uh, Ice at 7 a.m. and then we have Lane in the evenings, Chaska on the weekends. But um, luckily, I work uh, remotely as a graphic designer, so I'm working this week uh, just around the game times. And luckily enough to have my boss uh, at my job be okay with curling, so that helps a lot. And what's the hardest thing to get right in the position you guys play? I think weight control is the biggest thing you need out there. Um, and Sarah always learns the ice pretty fast, and you have to adjust quickly, but weight control can make or break the game. Okay, now do you warm up individually or as a team? I think we all do our own individual warm up, but we meet as a team uh, for our team meeting, and then we warm up individually, and then we come together again right before practice. So just making sure everyone gets what they need. And tell us about practice and training and workouts. Yeah, uh, we'd like to get a lot of ice time as much as possible. Um, we're working at the training house with our trainer, Mike Galenshin, and we focus on lifting and cardio and multi-movement um, exercises. Uh, we work with sports psychologist, Carly Anderson from Premier Sports Psychology. Uh, <laughs> we, do, we have a nutritionist we work with at the training house named Brooke. Um, so we're all in very focused on being our best and being the, at a peak performance at the national service. Now what is your mindset if you're down points in a game and um, how do you stay focused and motivated? Yeah, I mean you have to remember it's a long game and uh, you just have to keep on grinding and not, like, like if you give up a two or a three, you don't have to go all out crazy that next end. You just have to make sure you get some points on the scoreboard if it's a one or if it's a two. Um, so like I think it's just staying composed and taking it that one end at a time. How do you prepare for a big game for shots? I think having a really positive mindset, believing in your capability, visualizing the make, um, and just having good energy out there and believing you're going to make a shot. Now how do you talk after a win or a loss? So I think it's important to stick to the facts, um, to make sure you're, you know, you go over the ice, you go over the rocks, and you always go over what you did well, and then also what you can improve on, no matter if it's a win or a loss. Um, so, because there's always something to learn, and that's when it's great to have a coach or like a stream to look back on and to really analyze how you can improve. And what's the toughest opponent you've played and why? I mean, uh, here in the United States or in the world? 
you have. Wow. Okay. I mean, there's so many good teams out there. I think uh, of a game is when we played Anna Hasselberg at Women's Worlds a couple years ago. Um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we were able to beat them in the round robin and then lost them in, in a qualification game, right? Yeah. Or a tiebreak. And someone like that who uh, has just kind of won it all, uh, it's, you, you have a lot of excitement to play a team like that that is so good and that you know they can make any shot. So. Um, that's always a fond memory of mine. What's a moment in, in your career that you're most proud of? A moment I'm most proud of. Uh, winning women's nationals is really fun and just having a good performance out there as a team. Uh, winning junior nationals was fun just because that's really pushed us to want to keep curling and having the vision for what we can do, be capable of doing in the future. And what's uh, what are some tips uh, to making it from uh, you know, making it to national level to the very top? I think uh, it comes down to practice and also practicing with a purpose. Like every rock you should throw, you should have um, a reason why you're throwing it, and not just going through the motions. Um, so if that's something you can like learn from a coach or from teammates, is to get you feedback um, to always be improving. Um, I think that that will do it. Now, what advice do you have for young or new curlers? I think remember to always have fun with it. It's such a fun social sport. You're able to travel, you have the ability to see the world, and it's just a really good community to get to know the people and you'll be a lifelong sport. You'll get to stay, stay in it as long as you want. Totally. Last but not least, is there any advantages to uh, being twins on the I think there is. I think we have a secret advantage out there. Um, I think we can be very, as you know, very honest with each other. We can be pretty blunt and we're never going to hurt each other's feelings. Um, and also we kind of know what each other needs to hear. Um, and we know how to support one another. We always have each other's backs. And I think something uh, that we've learned from playing together our whole lives is that I always expect the best out of Taylor. So I can maybe be a little bit harder on her than my other teammates. Um, it's just because I know how good she is, and um, I think that both pushes us, we push each other to be better for each other. Yeah. So have you guys ever been on separate teams and played against each other? We've been on separate mixed doubles teams, yes. and that's Ooh. always a very battle. competitive. Yeah, at mixed doubles nationals last year, it was a very big battle. She got second, I got third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've always played together in women's. So. But when we play against each other in mixed doubles, I can tell Taylor gets a little quieter and feistier. She really wants sweet. to beat me. She really wants to beat me. <laughs> of course, I really want to beat her, but um, it's just definitely a different dynamic. Have you guys played each other? Uh, yes, yeah, I uh, How the, <laughs> in practice or in a game? Uh, in both. Yeah, game, practice. And do you guys, does your dynamic change when you're against each other? Sometimes, yeah. I get a little more competitive, I think so. What do you like more, playing against each other or with each other? Definitely with. Yeah, it's more fun. You guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about curling with each other? We're not like afraid to be harsh on each other, so yeah, we right. like, uh, can give like honest feedback to each other without like putting each other's feelings. Yeah, we do the same thing. People think we're pretty harsh, but it's like you just say it how it is, and you don't get your feelings hurt because that's just how we talk to each other. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to sugarcoat anything. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks so for much. having us. Thank you for taking yeah. time to Great do this. You. Yeah. Thanks. Keep going. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.